I'm 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 also perfectly fine with your your resolution on the fourth Tuesday email. I guess my question for Dave would does something like that need resolution to be executed on? Yeah, or can the communications committee essentially develop those communications cadences on their own? Well, we're the second motion she's got here is to approve communication committee adoption of email policy. So yeah, it's the dash it's the resolution dash sixteen that I'm I'm referring to, which okay. like I said, I'm okay with I'm totally fine with Pat approving it. I I guess I wonder, you know, if it gets to the point where you get an awful lot of demand for it and you it double the cadence. Right now you're doing yeah. second and fourth Tuesdays. Yeah. Do you need to come back to us for approval of that or do you just do it because you're the communications committee? Yeah, that's what I would like to understand as well. So Mr. Chairman, I'm not sure what the opinion is on that, but I it, it would be in my opinion that it is within the decision-making ability of the communications I, committee. I agree with that. Great. Um, then in that case, it sounds like the second topic of a policy that also doesn't, we don't need to make an official resolution for that as well. I, th I think that that one's probably important to put in there because I think that we should make it, you know, resolve that it is the township's policy that trustees should view public communication prior to being sent out, um, especially as it relates to trustee business, you know what I mean? Uh, or township business, I should say. So, you know, with that one, I think you've probably got some notes maybe on what we talked about as far as yeah. it going through the trustees first. So, you know, with the revi with the revisions, I would actually make a motion to approve the communication uh, committee adoption of the email policy as discussed in the meeting this evening. Okay. Second. Okay. All those in favor, aye. 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 Motion carried. And Mr. Chairman, unless you disagree, I would just strike that uh, dash 16 a resolution. I don't think it's necessary. I think the communications committee can act okay. accordingly. That's very good. Great. Thank you. Can I? So as a member of yeah. so, <clears throat> Lindsay's doing a great job from what I've observed. Her and her staff. <laughs> zero staff. <laughs> uh, so when you see the newsletter coming out, it's outstanding. Uh, on that second point, it's the sort of interrupt-driven communications through constant contact. So is then the policy, if she gets contacted by Jim or whoever, is her job to then direct them to Lindsay with whatever they would like to get done and you will be the gatekeeper to these three guys to or get Ashley. that approved? Ashley. What did I say? Lindsay. Oh, I'm sorry, to Ashley. <laughs> that, that is the best, pro because she doesn't need to be chasing that down no, so right. yeah, it, it would be my opinion that if if I'm the chair of a department or a committee or something like that, and I want something to be communicated out to the township, I know that the first thing I need to do is get one of the trustees to approve that message, if not all. Right. And so whenever I send it to Lindsay or the communications committee for that outbound weekly cadence, I'm going to probably copy the trustees on that and say, I spoke to the trustees about that. This message is approved for delivery. Okay. I think it's as simple as that. But if somebody comes to her didn't understand that it's okay for her to direct them to Ashley. I 100% think that, yeah, Lindsay as chair of communications committee could push back just to make sure that we've followed the appropriate steps on improving that kind of outbound communication. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Lindsay. All right. Great job. Any other public have any business? Bob? Um, just Get maybe to the microphone, please. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> a few months ago, when the township was looking at a township wide TIF, um, an individual made a comment uh, to the effect that the county we we needed to protect the township from the county coming in to take tests. Do, do you recall that? I, mm -hmm. um, and I thought, and that's been repeated since that time. And I thought, well, let me look into how many tests the county actually has done in the recent past. Because uh, as John said, we want to work with the county. Um, and, you know, we certainly want to have a good relationship and be on on a on a regular firm basis, 
Um, so I did some research. I spoke to a number of people, checked with the auditor's office. And in the last 10 years, there have been 10 TIFs by the county, 10 total. Seven of those were in Orange Township because of Route 23 and the difficulties that some of the, the businesses and the communities have had. Uh, the other three, one was in Kilbourne. Um, a second one was the outlet mall. And the third one uh, was Olentangy Crossing, which uh, basically is the uh, the road uh, to Delaware. The um, what road is that? Um, well, I've got it. Uh, that connects with the Delaware Business Park. And so I, I guess I just want to be sure we're careful when we make statement, you know, to the effect, you know, that that Delaware is potentially a threat because of those tests. When, you know, I, I personally, you know, don't think 10 tests and all of those are for public improvements with the approval of, of the various townships. So just wanted to. Make that statement. And I've got copies for you of those tests. So thank you. Thanks. Anybody else have anything? I have one more thing that I put new emergency batteries in the exit lights at the grain. So if the power would go out, there would be lights. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, yeah, you probably yeah, should. But there'd be light. <laughs> Any more thoughts? That's it. Okay, we'll take that. Safety first. There you go. Uh, there's not anything else uh, feel a need to do executive session or not? Yes. Okay. I'd like to make that motion. Yeah, so I'm going to move a uh, motion that we move to executive session at 8.32 p.m. to consider the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, or compensation of a public employee or official or the investigation of charges or complaints against a public employee, official, licensee, or a regulated individual, unless the employee, official, licensee, or regulated individual requests a public hearing by Division G1 of Section 121.22 of the Revised Code. Second. Uh, who's invited? Uh, just the trustees. Uh, don't need Lisa? I don't believe so. Uh, well, we can report to her, though. Okay. All yeah. right. Very good. Yeah. Uh, roll call vote, please. Jackson. Aye. Holiday. Aye. Aye. Okay. Oh, oh. gee whiz. <laughs> Don't you whiz me. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, I move that we come out of executive session. Second. Second. Uh, roll call vote, please. Jackson. Aye. Holiday. Aye. Trainer. Aye. Okay. Any further business? No. Make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Being adjourned. Thank you. No, you stayed. You stayed for that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>